Let's derive a formula for the errors in polynomial interpolation. Errors in polynomial interpolation. In the last class, we have seen that polynomials can be used for interpolation. That is, a polynomial of suitable degree could be used as an interpolating function and the corresponding polynomial is called interpolating polynomial. The interpolation is called polynomial interpolation. When you interpolate using a function, whether it is polynomial or any other function, there is a probability that there is an error. Why this error happens? The polynomial is clearly giving you values at n plus 1 points of x which are exactly the same values as obtained by the original function. Let the original function is y of x. y of x is unknown. That's the reason why we are using a polynomial phi of x as interpolating polynomial. When we tabulate the value of y of x using phi of x at a point z, which is not defined in the n plus 1 values, but which falls within the range x0 to xn, there is a finite probability that the result may have an error. The difference between the original value y of z and the value that we obtain using interpolating polynomial phi of x, I mean phi of z, this difference in the values of y of x and phi of x is called error. We need to find out an expression for this error in polynomial interpolation. So we have a function y of x. The problem is we are not sure about the construct of y of x. But this y of x is defined in n plus 1 points. Clearly defined at n plus 1 points. At these points y of x gives us values y0 y1, y2, etc., yn, corresponding to the x values, x0, x1, x2, etc., xn. y of x is continuous in the interval. It is continuous in the interval x0 to xn. And it is differentiable in this interval n plus 1 times. These are the two properties of the original function y of x. It is continuous throughout the interval x0 to xn and it is differentiable n plus 1 times. Now, uh, we may say that y of xi equal to yi. We are denoting it by yi y of x that is when x takes a value x i the result is y i for example the value of y at say x 5 will be written as y 5 likewise y value of y at the point x uh, 3 may be written as y 3 so when you write y 3 that shows the value of the function y of x when you give x3 for the value x. So you may write, uh, write it as uh, i where i equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. n. So this is clearly defined. y is clearly defined for n plus 1 values 0 to n. Now we approximate this y of x with a polynomial phi of x. Phi of x is called the interpolating polynomial. And the first uh, condition is that phi of x should be of suitable degree. Uh, such that we need to get y i equal to phi phi n x i. Which means the polynomial has a degree n and it gives exactly the value 
y i when x has a value x i, which means let's take uh, let's evaluate the value at a point say y uh, x equal to uh, x phi at x phi the interpolating polynomial takes the value phi n x phi this should be y phi y phi is clearly known likewise when you put the value x7 that should give you the value y7 exactly in that way we need to get the values y0 y1 y2 etc yn from phi n from phi n when x takes the values x0 x1 x2 etc xn so phi n xn takes the values y0 y1 y2 etc yn when you give x values x0 x1 x2 x3 etc xn respectively so this is the first condition of selecting phi n xn as the interpolating polynomial which replaces the function y of x a suitable selection of the interpolating polynomial will ensure that y of x minus phi n of x equal to 0 at the n plus 1 points uh, x0 x1 x2 etc etc this means y of x minus phi n of x vanishes at these n plus 1 points. Let us put this as equation 1. This is equation 1. y of x minus phi n of x equal to 0 at n plus 1 points x0, x1, x2, x3, etc, etc. When we evaluate the value of y of x using the interpolating polynomial phi n of x at other points other than these n plus 1 points uh, within the interval x0 to xn the values of y of x and phi n x may not be the same then this equation 1 will not yield a zero value we may uh, rephrase equation 1 then as y of x minus phi n of x equal to uh, say l into pi of x. This is equation 2. This happens at points other than these n plus 1 points but within the range x0 to x. Now L into pi of x is the difference between the original value y of x and the approximated value or the interpolated value phi n of x. This difference y of x minus phi n of x is called or it is known as the error in interpolation. This is known as the error in interpolation y of x minus phi n of x. So uh, we need to find uh, the error in interpolation and this is the error in interpolation y of x minus phi n of x. For finding the error we need to find the value of l and we need to define pi of x pi of x is given by x minus x0 into x minus x1 into x minus x2 etc into x minus xn let us put this as equation 3. This is equation 3. Now we need to evaluate the value of L. L has to be evaluated such that there are conditions. L has to be evaluated such that uh, this equation 2 holds good for any intermediate value of x 
say z this equation 2 should hold good for any intermediate value of x we are giving that intermediate value as z uh, such that z falls within the interval x0 to xn that is we may write it as uh, x0 z xn which means z lies between x0 and xn now from equation 2 we have l equal to y of z minus phi n of z so we are replacing uh, x by z by pi of z let's put this as equation 4 now for finding out the expression the error expression we are defining uh, uh, an arbitrary function we are defining an arbitrary function f of x and f of x is defined like this f of x equal to y of x minus pi n of x minus l into pi of x put this as equation fine and what are the specialities of this f of x f of x is continuous in the interval uh, it is continuous in the interval x0 to uh, xn just like y of x or just like phi n of x then uh, f of x processes f of x processes uh, continuous derivatives continuous derivatives in the range x0 to xn this is the second property and the third property is most important it vanishes that is f of x vanishes at n plus 2 points n plus 2 points within the interval x0 to xn which are these n plus 2 points and the n plus 2 points are x0 x1 x2 etc xn and besides there is another point z so we may write it as f of x0 equal to f of x1 equal to f of x2 equal to f of x3 equal to etc equal to f of xn equal to f of z equal to 0 which means at these all n plus 2 points the arbitrary function f of x vanishes now these are the properties of these are the specialities of the arbitrary function f of x now let's take the first derivative of f of x now we are going to take the first derivative of f of x uh, let that be written as f prime x f prime x vanishes at n plus 1 points f prime x that is the first derivative of f of, f of x vanishes at n plus 1 points by Rolle's theorem by continuously applying this Rolle's theorem we can say that f double prime x that is the second derivative of f of x vanishes at n points likewise we may say that f n plus 1 x that is the n plus 1 the derivative of the arbitrary function f of x vanishes at one point the n plus 1 the derivative of f of x vanishes at one point let that point be say zeta and this zeta is between clearly between x0 and xn now let us differentiate equation 5 equation 5 is f of x 
equal to y of x minus 5nx minus l into pi x. Let's differentiate this function with respect to x n plus 1 times uh, and substitute uh, zeta for x. What we get? Let's see. When you differentiate f of x for n plus 1 times, that becomes 0. That becomes, I mean, it becomes 0. 0 equal to, uh, when you differentiate y of x n plus 1 times, we may write it as y of n plus 1 uh, zeta minus phi n x. Phi n of x is a polynomial of nth order. When you differentiate it n plus 1 times, that becomes 0. minus L into pi of x. What is pi of x? Pi of x is given by x minus x0 into x minus x1 into x minus x2 into etc. into x minus xn. When you differentiate this term for n plus 1 times, we get n plus 1 factorial. Put this as equation 6. Now from equation 6, we get L as L equal to oh, y n plus 1 zeta, that is n plus 1, the derivative of function y divided by n plus 1 factorial. This is equation 7. Now, this is equation 7. When this equation 7 is applied to equation 4, we get substitute the value of L. We get y n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial equal to y of z minus phi n of z by pi of z put this as say equation 8 now rearranging this equation and replacing z by x we get uh, y of x minus phi n of x which is the error as pi of x by n plus 1 factorial into the n plus 1 th derivative of y. And this is the error formula in polynomial interpolation.